Alright, hello and welcome to a game called Red Dead Online. And I'm just gonna... I've played Red Dead Online a lot, but I haven't played many of the story missions. I think I've done maybe three or four of the story missions on this thing, and... I didn't play many because I don't really care to play with other people that I don't know, but whatever. I'm gonna restart, make a new character, and go through the beginning, then switch back to my old character, because I want to have all my guns. But I'm just gonna go through the story missions on this one. Alright, let's just get started. Okay, ah. sir. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Time to make a character, I guess. All right. Really, it doesn't matter what my character looks like right now because I'm going to switch back to my other character once this is... once I do the beginning. And also, I apologize for background noise, but let's continue. Okay, let's get a photograph. I'll need to see your fingers, palms to you. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Blackwater. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. 
My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. <laughs> Come along. Then you better get on this horse. That's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging. I'm sorry, no. but I'm gonna need you to come with me. There will be plenty of time for adventures. Now, if you follow me, please. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. I still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. She's just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. Alright, I'm not saying much for the background noise, but, and I do so apologize if anyone hears it. It's been a while since you saw a hitching post, huh? This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. All right. That looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets 
This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are, the people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. LeClerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then, Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! <laughs> Hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. LeClerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. All right. Get on to the station. Not too far. Hello. You, uh, you must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. 
Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. But Horley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. <laughs> I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well... Some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in tall trees. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well... My colleagues and I move around these stations as needed, and all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. All right. Interesting dialogue, I guess. Very misty. Really wanted to knife them. map. Just 
Be kind. Don't kill me, please. I think he wasn't marked in red, so I don't think you could kill him. Wait, this is... what am I... This treasure that I don't need because I'm gonna be not playing with this character soon enough. I just need to play until I know I got to the first online mission, story mission, whatever mission, co op, whatever, that you're forced to play with other people. Really wish they had a single player version. But I guess it is Red Dead Online. And I mean Red Dead Redemption 2, the story of that, that single player. I'm surprised the horse didn't at least fall over from that. Pretty sure I use this one where I basically just do dead eye to regenerate health. Matchmaking. Honor among horse thieves. All right, this might be the matchmaking thing. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my other character. I'm pretty sure I've already played a few of the missions, there's just not many, like at least three or four, maybe. So, time to switch to a different character. Alright, I'm back with the same character because I realize that the mission, this mission, is not something I can choose to replay on the other whatever, whatever. <laughs> I win again! <laughs> Did Horley send you, Pop? I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. Listen, I heard you wanted to earn some money. So, there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells. They are a bunch of degenerates, not good people. They're out a man's Anita Post with a bunch of horses they stole from me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, but they stole them off a fella I was gonna steal them off of. <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. 
You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look. Here are your friends. Well, good. Meet me at the stable in Blackwater once you have the horse flesh. And I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive! Horley was right about you, dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. 
It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. The horse time. I guess I have to name it. I'll name it the horse that I have the name on the other one. you get on with Clay Davies? Horrible little wretch, in my opinion. Pop this and pop that. I'd like to pop him, a slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg. And I'd rather work. Oh, I saw Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities. Good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. You know, I I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. <sighs> All right, red dead online.
guess it's uh let me just see what is the first well one side what am I doing here? Alright, let me see what the What am what 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 Mission here. Pretty sure some of those are for roles. Does this mission have a name? I don't know. I'm gonna do it and see what the name of it is before I. I don't know. Just to make sure I don't exit out and then go back and see that it was something else I needed to do before I could do what I want to do. Woman? Hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, I said, who is that? Is that a kind woman? Is that a good woman? Is that a bad woman? Is that a she-devil? Maybe it's all of them at once. And maybe there ain't no she-devil. Maybe there ain't no kindness. Oh, oh, you is always a strange one, Horley. How is Mrs. LeClerc? How bad as you'd expect. I expect a lot. It's mighty bad business. LeClerc was a good man. A, a fine man. That he was. And, and this gal... Well, that's their business. Oh, that's the world's business. The world's business is kindness and gentleness and, and evil and, and brutality. What else is there, mister? Well, there's a whole lot else besides, like lust and greed and stupidity. Oh, Mr. Jones is stupid. Oh, Jones is old. Oh, Jones has cooked himself in the sun. I know, I know. Get yourself something to eat. There's fellas need help. Maybe this gal can help them. Maybe. They're, uh, they're on the run. That ain't my business. My business is what they do hereafter. That's my business. Well, they certainly need money. Yeah, there's always money. Money for them is as good, and money for them is, is not so good. But well, maybe they could first go see the sheriffs and see what work is afoot. I reckon, it, well, for now at least, uh, we might as well try. The sheriff at Blackwater, he needs help. Uh, not the fella that arrested you. That was the marshal. The police chief, he's a decent enough fella for all we know. Poor bastard is overrun and, and he don't want old Jones. There's a couple other sheriffs that need help. A fella from Valentine, he's at uh, the Painted Sky Ranch. The Tumbleweed Sheriff's at the Tumbleweed Jail and the Blackwater Sheriff, he's at Pike's Basin. Maybe all that'll show what kind of woman this is. Hmm. Go and pay them all a call. That's what I reckon. Maybe. I guess we will see. Meet me back here after you've seen them. All right. Pretty sure I've done these three.
do about it, Sheriff? About what? My stolen property. Well, ain't much I can do about it. I ain't got the manpower to go after Bob Crawfish. Howdy. How do? I pay your goddamn wages, me and folks like me. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Arnsdale. Really, I am. But there ain't nothing I can do about this. Now I have more support and funding. Will you go for me? Wait, what? Go. See if you can retrieve my lawful property from some goddamn thief. Ain't nobody knows who took your stuff, mister. I seem like some kind of liar. Is that why you won't help me? No, but... Listen, get me Bob Crawfish and his closest associates by any means necessary. No, not by any means necessary. Kill nobody. Ain't nobody convicted of nothing. I was robbed. Get them and bring them to me just down from Fort Riggs Station, and you will be handsomely paid. Sheriff. Mr. Arnsdale. Wait, what happened? Okay, well, back to here we are.
Wait. Uh, someone killed the motherfuckers, whatever. Honestly, this is why I wish I could just do this solo. And, uh, other people fucked it up. Gosh. Oh my god, I'm fucking shit up. And now I have to wait for the other guy to do shit. on the track. Come on! Hey, what the hell? Help! Help me! Hello, Clinton. Hello, Clinton. How have you been since we robbed you? Where's my property? I don't rightly know what you're talking about, yes, Clinton. Yes, you do. My fine collection of Staffordshire China gone. My paintings of scenes in Italy, gone. My collection of photographs of fairies, gone. It's all just a big mistake. Where are they? We invested in them together. You owed us money. I did no such thing. Where are my things? In the basement of your sister's house. My sister? God damn her to hell. Here. Here's your money. Kill these men, will you? In fact, don't kill them. Leave them on the tracks. <laughs> Thieves! <laughs> Alright. Well... Let me come on, go. I come do on. what I am paid. You're not gonna let some good old boys die because of some Stafford... I knew you were greedy. I didn't realize you were evil. Oh, bloody killers. That's what you are. This is a black mark on all of you. Shame on you. Shame on you. It's cruel as what it is! Damn you! Damn you to hell! No! Good God! No! no. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, no, right at the end, it sort of tried forcing me off. I don't know why, but I died anyways.
Man, yeah, just there was two of me for a second there. Alright, now I'm pretty sure if I keep making dishonorable choices, it'll put me on the dishonorable missions path. Because I'm pretty sure I started. I think I did all of the choice missions, which put me on the honorable side. And then I think I did one mission after that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these choice missions and then go through the dishonorable side with this character. And then I'll return to another character and do the honorable missions. Also, I'm going to, because it's uh, just because, I'm going to just cut to going over to where they are because it's going to take a bit to just ride over so next stop will be here i'll be right back all right looks like i'm here you're an imbecile a what an idiot i'm sorry he said he wouldn't run away well, shut up but please but just <laughs> shut up they're gonna fire me. Oh, you, you get to keep your job, but they'll fire me, and they've got every right to fire me, cause I'm the idiot who employed you. Oh, look, guests. <laughs> Are you a moron, partner? Huh? <laughs> well, you can't be any worse than us, because this idiot, this idiot right here, just let the most notorious con man in the whole goddamn state walk clean out of a cell, clean out, and not a shot fired! Now, uh, if you get him back for us, we'll happily pay you. How about that? Good. Good. Now, see, what I figure is I figure He's headed on down to Pike's Basin, so you go down the canyon, and you get him, and I'm gonna beat this poor dumb bastard with a stick, and I'll try and join you on the other side. Come on. All right.
I've got money. I've got a lot of money. And I'll pay. I'll pay a lot. Hey, here's an idea. Take my hat. Put it on the dead guy over there. You take him in, as me, I go free, and you get rich. Oh, wait. And I won't kill anybody else. I swear. I'm reformed. I'm a changed man. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Set me free. Have a heart. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't trust him, but... Hey! I'm doing a dishonorable go here. You made the right call. Now, that feels better. Thank you, Thank you so much. Watch this. I'll do this, and nobody will be any of the wiser. Okay, okay. Pick him up and follow me. He's over there, under that butte. Recognize him all right. Very good. Put him up on my horse there. That murderous bastard's killed more people than typhoid. Escaped the gallows three times. <clears throat> I'm sorry he won't face justice, but happy he's dead. That's the main thing. Folks around here can sleep a lot easier. Here's the money I promised you. Thanks for your help. Come on, boy. See you later. All right. With the cloning of the self. All right. So now I just go for the next mission. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing, which is just fast forward to right around here. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, here I am. Please! 
please. You, you got to help me. I can't help you, mister. That's way out of my jurisdiction. My job is stopping folks from getting shot on these streets. You know that. She's my wife. She's my goddamn wife. They'll, they'll do terrible things to her. You got to help me. Maybe these people can help you. Them? Sure. Why not? Most lost and kidnapped folks are found by bounty hunters and such like. Will you help? I'll pay. Handsomely. <sighs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, Allison is the sweetest girl. She's quite a bit younger than me, you'll see. But better that way for wives, I, I, I found. But they took her. The outlaws, I believe. Up, up, up to Twin Rocks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! Someone uh, framing, doing. I don't even know. Is that because their internet is bad, or because my internet is bad? He sent you, didn't he? He sent you! Well, I'm not coming. I can't go back to him. We're in love. Leave us be. Look, I'll give you all we have. It ain't much, but it's something. Just help us escape from here. Come on, please. I'm not going back. Cliff, you swore. You swore I wouldn't have to go back. They'll have to kill me to get to you. Come on, folks. Have a heart, please. Terence O'Dowd is not a good man, and you're not the first. Oh, Lord, help! Damn you! Just think about this. What's going on? Is she glitched out?
It seems, well, since the vote was half and half, it seems like there's some... I don't know what the word is, but there's something among this team. Half people want to be honorable, the other half not. Me being part of the not. Someone who died a bunch, I guess. that everyone
Alright. Good deed done. Well, would you look at that? Oh, oh, oh. You brought her back. Oh, Allison. Allison. I, you're... I hope you're okay. I have been so worried, my angel. Oh, this is the happiest moment of my whole life. Ain't that fine. You still gotta pay him. Well, of course. Of course. My... my sweet love. My... my sweet... sweet love. Oh, it was... it was just a big misunderstanding between us, you see. I hate you, Terrence O'Dowd. I hate you, and I'll go on hating you till I die. Oh, she's deranged, but so very beautiful. Well, she's been through a lot. Here, here's your money. Thank you so much. Come, my sweet. Let's head for home. Well, that's quite something. Go on with you now. Ah, uh, and hey, look, there's the cloning, the duplication. Well, nice that I did good. Everyone lived happily ever after, probably. Alright, so I'm supposed to go back to Horley, but I think I'm actually going to end it for right now. And in the next part, I'll be right over here somewhere. Alright, goodbye.